I'm Kerry Wells, General Manager of Shellfish Culture from down in Tasmania, Hobart. Uh, currently here today with John Stubbs at the Hawkesbury River, the Chairman of the Broken Bay Group. Um, we're just going out to have a first look at the uh, POM trials for uh, oyster mortality virus strain oysters today. Obviously the Hawkesbury got hit with a QX with the Sydney Rock. In 2004 the oyster production on the Hawkesbury went from $5 million to zero overnight. Now with the help of um, the with shellfish cultures, Triploid Pacific oysters, we've been able to uh, resurrect the oyster industry on the, on the Hawkesbury. Classified as a pest, species. pest species. So what we had to do for the Hawkesbury was try and produce a, an oyster that didn't spawn and created feral oysters. So that's where the triploid comes into it. It can't reproduce. Now the next thing is that we've got to try and make that disease resistant as well in the same time. So that's our next challenge. The POMS is, uh, stands for Pacific Oyster Mortality Syndrome. It pr probably is uh, one of the greatest risks to the whole Australian um, oyster industry at the present time. Um, it's already hit um, Sydney Harbour and George's River, where the next port of call up the coast from those two <laughs> ports. What shellfish cultures try, uh, and um, ASI are doing experimenting with different family lines is to try and produce a resistant oyster put, uh, to um, combat that, that threat into the future. So what's, what's happened to help with the ponds resistant line is that currently we had diploid pacifics in the Georges of different breeding lines and there was three or four lines down there that showed, uh, showed resistance to the, to the virus. So we used one of them diploid lines to cross with our current tetraploid parent to do a cross to see if we could help start the resistance program, basically. Uh, currently helping shellfish culture and the researchers into um, trialling these, or well, nursing these family lines so that they can take them down to George's River to be exposed to the, to the virus. But the secret's going to be is that we need to breed that resistance into a tetraploid. So that's, we obviously we've got to start a new breeding program into the tetraploid lines, which will take up to five to ten years. So in that meantime, we are, we are trying other, other uh, ways and means of trying to safeguard somehow, so if it works for the farmer. The cycle for an oyster needs about 40% air time out of the water and 6% in the water. And what John and them are about to venture into extreme farming where they're probably going to be more exposed out of the water for 70% of the time and 30% of the time in the water to try and avoid the virus attack if it's about. That's the stuff we got in um, February. Oysters are a great thing for the environment, uh, filter feeders, they do clean the waterways, especially now Pacific oysters are probably a bigger filter feeder than a Sydney rock. These are some of the, um, the 50,000 
uh, SPAT, the Shellfish Culture, have um, kindly donated to the POMS research that have been presently being conducted by Richard and Ika DuPont from the um, University of Sydney. And we're about to uh, give them their first sieve. We got them about three and a half weeks ago up from, from Tassie. And a lot of those will go into six mil and, and three mil, and there'll be a few runs that will go back into the, into the socks. Yeah, Jerry, what, we, what you did. Yeah, yeah and it worked well. They've um, yeah. mm, right. yeah, so very healthy. Our only. Um, <laughs> been able to um, play a, a big part in improving the, the, the water quality in the estuary as well by um, partnerships that we've formed with uh, government and other bodies, local councils for example. Um, I'll show you the uh, salinity probes shortly. Ocean Watch. <laughs> yeah, I was say, don't forget Ocean Watch. <laughs> uh, everyone's been terrific to work with with, with that one common goal of um, in, improving our, our water quality and to such an extent now that all our harvest areas are classified for direct harvest and they are uh, export approved with um, acres. <laughs>